fantastic day children today we are going to learn the lesson soil of science let's all go on a journey on this wonderful lesson and i assure you that you're going to have a lovely time label the let's see what this warm up has in store for us label the layers of the soil in the figure shown alongside name the types of soil and also give one use of each children you have already learn this so i leave it to you to venture into this warm up okay let's go further what are we going to learn today we are going to learn about the process of soil formation we are going to identify about the layers of soil then we are going to learn how soil erosion takes place and we are going to learn the explain how to explain the factors that cause soil erosion and learn and discuss the methods of soil conservation soil is a thin layer of material covering the earth's surface and is formed from the weathering of rocks it takes thousands of years for the rocks to turn into soil it is made up of mainly of mineral particles organic materials air water and living organisms all of which interact slowly yet constantly now water and wind loosen up the rock surface and open up cracks remains of dead plants and animals get deposited in the cracks plant roots speed up weathering of rocks soil layer becomes deep enough for the big trees to grow on it let's move further with the importance of soil to living things soil is the upper layer of the earth that consists of a mixture of organic remains clay and rock particles it provides heat nutrients and water for the plants to grow these plants then provide valuable habitats and sources of food for animals bacteria and other things thus soil is important for the continuation of life on the earth now let's go to the soil profile soil profile refers to the different layers of soil most soils have three or four major layers that is the organic layer the top soil subsoil and parent material some soils may have a very thin or no organic layer at all another layer called bedrock is present beneath all the other layers organic layer or humus the organic layer of soil is made up of made up mostly of decomposed leaves that is leaf litter and humus that is decomposed organic matter it is usually thin and quite dark in color top soil it is the uppermost layer of the soil and is a mixture of different soil particles it is it also contains microorganisms water and air it is rich in humus and relatively poor in minerals it is very dark in color and is most suitable for plant growth subsoil it is a layer of the soil below the top soil it is made up of small pieces of rocks and water it is rich in minerals and poor in humus it is lighter in color than the rest of the layers parent material it is also called regolith it is made up of weathered or decomposed rock fragments here very little organic matter is found so it has almost no plant or animal life let's move further this is a soil profile children this is a sketch of it you can draw it here we have the bedrock here is the parent material this is the subsoil this is the top soil and this is the organic layer let's move further bedrock it is a solid unweathered rock it is mainly inside the large it is mainly made up of large pieces of rock and lies deep inside the earth though it is considered as a part of soil profile it has in it is important to understand that this layer is not soil as it does not support plant or animal life fact is organic layer top soil subsoil and parent material are also called o a b and c horizons respectively while the bedrock is known as the r horizon 
Now let's see the activity and the soil erosion. Pile up some stones in the shape of a hill. Heap some soil on it. Now water it with a watering can. What happens to the soil? Now spread some dry and powdered soil on the paper. Then blow air on it. What happens? In both the cases, you will notice that the soil gets easily washed or blown away from the surface. As in this activity, in nature also soil from the hills gets washed away due to rains. You can see muddy water flowing down the hills. The water is muddy because of the soil which is being washed away. Soil is also blown away from the plains and the hills by the force of wind. The removal of washing, the removal or washing away of the loose top soil by the action of the strong winds and heavy rains is called soil erosion. Soil is held firmly in place by the roots of the plants and trees. So the cutting down of trees causes soil erosion. Let's go to the fact is the Food and Agricultural Organization that is FAO, a wing of United Nations estimates that the global loss of production land due to soil erosion is 5 to 7 million hectares per year. Now that's very very bad children. Causes of soil erosion. The main cause of soil erosion is cutting down of trees on large scale. It is called deforestation. It exposes the soil to wind and water which carry away the top soil. This is deforestation. Okay, let us go further. The impact of rainfall on the soil surface can remove the top soil. Sometimes minerals present in the soil dissolve in water and seep through the layers of soil thereby making the soil infertile. Strong winds blow away particles of soil with it. It usually takes place where there is less vegetation. The heat of the sun evaporates the moisture of exposed soil and dries it up. Dry soil breaks up easily and turns into small particles and is easily blown away by wind resulting in soil erosion. Overgrazing by cattle removes the plant cover from the soil. As a result, soil erosion increases. Plowing of hills for cultivation also loosens the soil and increases the risk of erosion by wind. Now coming to the fact is the Yellow River of China called Huangho is also known as the Sora of China. This is because it changes its course very often and causes loss of life and property. This is very sad. Now here what is the fact is soil is considered to be a precious natural resource definitely not only soil I feel that every natural resource is very very precious for us let's move further soil conservation protection of soil from wearing away due to physical forces of water and wind is called soil conservation soil can be conserved in different ways increase in vegetation the roots of the plants hold the soil firmly together and prevent soil erosion. So green cover should be increased on the soil by planting trees like neem and people. Planting of trees on a large scale on open land which has not been a forest is known as afforestation. In areas where forest has been cut, planting trees in place of cut trees is called reforestation. Crop rotation. Crop rotation is a method of farming where a number of different plants are grown one after another on a field so that the soil stays healthy and fertile. If any cultivable land is left barren or vacant for long, the loose dry soil gets eroded easily. Thus, crop rotation always keeps the soil covered with the vegetation. Cover crops between harvesting one crop and planting the next crop, the field should not be left barren. This may blow away the top soil and lead to depletion of important soil nutrients, making it infertile. Farmers can protect the soil by growing cover crops until the next crop is planted. For example, oats and rye. 
development of pastures gra grass and herbs do not need do not get time to recover and grow due to overgrazing this leads to soil erosion to prevent such erosion area should be reserved for pastures what are pastures they are grass or similar plants suitable for animals such as cows and sheep to eat or an area of land covered in this in this okay animals should be taken to such places for grazing and not allowed to wander then construction of embankments building embankments among along river banks prevents soil erosion the river water is unable to flow flood the nearby fields soil is thus conserved from erosion through water okay making terraces cutting steps of terraces on the slopes of hills and building bunds on the outer edges control the flow of water and help in reducing soil erosion this type of farming is also referred to as terrace farming children see how lovely this embankment embankment and the terrace farming looks this is a picture site okay let us move further constructing dams many a time soil erosion is caused by river floods therefore dams can be constructed across the rivers to prevent soil erosion wind breaks wind breaks are barriers formed by trees and other plants farmers plant these barriers around their fields this prevents the soil from being blown away the land is thus safe from wind erosion these rows of trees or hedges are called wind breaks this too is really really lovely children please visit it whenever you have the time now activity 2 collect information and make a poster on the ways to conserve soil this definitely you should do it do it in your notebook okay i don't want huge uh, what is that uh, i don't want a huge poster on the chart paper you can do it on your notebook forests and balance in nature nowadays more and more plants are being cut by humans to fulfill our personal needs such as furniture paper and houses apart from causing soil erosion deforestation also results in the loss of homes and lives of wild animals when forest wealth is endangered the balance in nature is also disturbed each one of us should strive hard to avoid disturbing the balance in nature to prevent deforestation one should plant more and more saplings and take care of them this process of planting trees on a large scale is known as afforestation if it is necessary to cut down the trees new trees should be planted in their place and cared for it's not just planting but you have to take care to see that these plants grow well okay forest day or one month serve week is celebrated in india for about one week in the month of july from date 1 to date 7 to grow more plants it is expected that the people should plant a sapling in the one month serve week awareness campaigns are held in schools offices and colleges to spread the need of growing more plants in order to reduce pollution let's see what is a fact is about the earth day is celebrated every year on april 22nd now let's wind up with the summary soil is formed by the weathering of rocks the different layers of soil are organic layer top soil subsoil parent material and bedrock forces of nature such as the sun wind and water are the major causes of soil erosion deforestation by human beings is a major cause of soil erosion soil can be conserved by methods like afforestation reforestation development of pastures building embankments dams crop rotation terrace farming and planting trees as wind breakers when forest wealth is endangered the balance in nature is disturbed so children i hope you had a lovely session on lesson 2 and the name of the lesson was soil 
so have a nice day and happy learning thank you